Yo, what's good? This is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic, and we've landed here in northwestern Michigan on the shores of one of the most beautiful and breathtaking golden sand beaches anywhere on God's green earth. But our adventure didn't start here this evening at sunset. It started this morning at 4 a.m. in Grand Haven, Michigan on the hunt for Chinook. It's salmon season in Michigan. And we're taking you on Rewind. Join us for the ultimate pure Michigan Chinook hook and cook, live fire style. You don't wanna miss this. Let's go. Our fires are lit and the table's down. Today, we're doing Chinook stuffed with an aromatic garden of fresh herbs, mayor lemon, summer shallots, and roasted minced garlic. We're gonna score the fillets, brush the entirety of the fish inside and out with a buttery olive oil, and season it boldly with a homemade granulated honey crushed red pepper rub. It's gonna be sweet, savory, spicy, a bit smoky, and incredibly delicious. Let's get started. Now to score, we take the edge of a very sharp blade and drag it directly across the filet of the salmon. We're only going down a very shallow amount into the filet. We do this to create not only texture to help the salmon cook more quickly, but we wanna deeply integrate the flavors of the olive oil and rub all through the course of the coho from snout to tail. Now that our salmon fillets have been scored, it's time to prepare our stuffing. And today, we're starting with lemon. Next up is the summer shallot. Now, use the tip of an extremely sharp knife just like these doll strong Firestorm Alpha blades. I'm using the eight inch chef's knife. We're gonna drag the tip of the knife across the tip end of the shallot, flip to the side, and now cut across the root in half. We'll peel the exterior layer and finally slice. With our shallot and lemon prepared, it's time to drizzle the salmon with olive oil and hit it hard inside and out with the granulated honey and crushed red pepper rub. lemon and shallot in first. We'll follow that up by our fresh herbs and roasted garlic. Roasted minced garlic in. We're using about one tablespoon per salmon. That being said, if it were up to me, we'd be using way more. There's never too much garlic. Next, fresh parsley. And stuff this fish with it right up to the gills. There we go. Boom. Last but not least, fennel. This is gonna add a beautiful, elevated, fragrant essence to our salmon. Salmon season, salmon stuffed. Our charcoal embers are ashed over and it's time to get the salmon on the grill. Mm -hmm. 
We are absolutely throwing down today. Our Chinook are on the grill grate. The coals have been pushed to the side and we did so to create a roasting effect around the grill. We're gonna crisp, caramelize up the exterior of the skin, flip after about eight minutes and prepare the fish until 143 degrees of internal temperature. Now we have a few minutes while we wait, it's time to prepare our wild green salad with caramelized honey vinaigrette. To go along with our salmon, we're preparing a freshly harvested local green salad using blackberries, fresh blueberries, dried blueberries, fennel, roasted salted pecans, and we're finishing it all with an incredible caramelized honey vinaigrette. Let's get started on this. While our freshly harvested greens are ready to go, it's time to prepare our fennel. We're gonna simply place down our bulbs and slice thinly through. Fennel in with our wild greens. We're gonna toss it about, and now on to caramelize our wildflower honey. To caramelize our honey in live fire fashion, cast iron directly over the coals and honey in. As soon as it starts to bubble and turn an auburn light color, you know you're done. Now to prepare a vinaigrette, we're gonna use a combination of olive oil, apple cider vinegar, roasted minced garlic, and our caramelized honey. So in we go. Vinaigrette, one cup olive oil. Glug, 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 <laughs> glug, glug, okay. All right, next in. A few splashes, apple cider vinegar. And this is, I don't know how I feel about the sound of that. <laughs> We're using a four parts to one olive oil to apple cider vinegar. That's gonna really give us the brightness in tang that we're looking for with our caramelized honey vinaigrette. Caramelized honey vinaigrette in. Look at that color, how amazing is that? Beautiful. Roasted minced garlic in. And to season our granulated honey crushed red pepper rub. This is gonna add the salinity additional sweetness, a bit of spice, and a savory umami note to our vinaigrette. And now emulsify with our whisk. Make sure all ingredients are well combined. This is probably two to three minutes. You're certainly welcome to use an emulsion blender if you like, or a food processor. We're just really looking to ensure the sugars, the fats, the salts, the vinegar and the oils in here are well combined. Wow, that smells so ridiculously good. Now it's time to bring the salad home. We have our fresh blueberries, our dry blueberries, our fresh blackberries, toasted, roasted, salted pecans. We have a bit of lemon zest and white cheddar. We're gonna zest the top and then fold all together with our caramelized honey vinaigrette. Now we're using whole pecan halves that have been toasted, salted, roasted. We're gonna crush those by hand and drop them atop the salad. There we go. This is gonna add a really nice bit of crunch and texture into our pairing with our salmon. Vinaigrette in. I like to whisk as we pour in. Get as much of this in as we can. I'm really looking for about a half a cup. There we go. Make sure that you're getting that garlic in and those seasonings all over. And now we toss to combine. How bright and beautiful that salad is. So amazing. What that wild flower honey caramelized vinaigrette is gonna do is just brighten and build a bit of sweetness that accentuates the rest of the flavors throughout this salad. This alone could be a main course. White cheddar on the microplane. Look how beautiful that is. Pop it in. Aged white cheddar it has this beautiful crystallization. So rich, so creamy. And the salinity from this cheese is gonna go so nicely with the caramelized honey, vinaigrette, and fresh berries that are a part of this salad. Last but not least, lemon zest. 
And now when we grate the lemon zest across the microplane, we're just looking for the exterior bright yellow layer. Now, we didn't include lemon in the vinaigrette because we didn't want to double down knowing we're going to finish with this beautiful garnish of zest from these Mayer lemons. For our presentation this evening, we plated the salmon directly atop our summer salad. We've peeled back the skin and we're just finishing that filet with a little bit of our caramelized honey vinaigrette. And now to finish, fennel fronds. Now the fennel fronds not only look beautiful, but they're fragrant. They're gonna add a ton of anise-like flavor. Just beautiful in presentation. And that, my friends, is the ultimate Northern Michigan Chinook hook and cook. Now, the easy part. The time for talk is over. Let's dig in. Just look at how juicy and tender that salmon is. It literally <laughs> flakes directly from the bone. Amazing. Look at that. That's, that's insane. Stay hungry. Is the fat of the salmon fillets dripping over the coals? Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. It's time to start with our stuffing. Today, we're starting with, ugh, not that. It's time to start with our stuffing. First up, <laughs> mic check, one, two. <laughs> okay, here we go.